Welcome and thank you for watching Cooking with Ash. I hope you guys are enjoying all the amazing recipes I have been posted. If you're loving those recipes, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't liked and subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please hit the subscribe button below. I've, pre I've prepared an amazing recipe for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's get right into the video. Hey guys welcome back to cooking with ash hope you guys are having an amazing day today i'm going to show you guys um, my pastry dough and this is my all-purpose pastry dough i use it for cheese roll i use it for pine tart i use it for black eye cake it's a you can use it as pie crust too it's a really good dough so these are the ingredients we will be using i have here flour some ice cold water some vinegar and some sugar and turmeric and i have here my butter and my vegetable sharpening so let's get into the mixing process i'm doing this in my food processor you can use a pastry cutter and do this if you don't have a processor you can even use your hands and um, if you're going to use your hand and um, Make sure you don't overwork the dough too much. Because you don't want um, your hand temperature, like the warmness from your fingers, to melt the butter. The colder you can keep this, the better you, it's for you. So I'm going to go ahead and add my sugar and turmeric to this. In goes my butter and my shortening. And these are like extremely cold. I had them in the freezer. And I'm just gonna put the vinegar in here with it. So I'm gonna begin the pulsing process of this. I'm gonna come back and show you guys what it looks like. Guys, this is what our pastry dough looks like so far, blended with the butter and the shortening. Do you see that we're looking for like a crumb? And if you take your finger and compact the dough, it start to form. That's what you're looking for. So we're gonna go ahead and add our water to this and we're gonna pulse it. <coughs> so I'm gradually gonna add our water. We can always add more, but we cannot take out. And this is really cold water I have in here. So I'm gonna pulse this until it forms a ball and I'm gonna come back and show you the consistency. So guys, do you see that? It's turning into a ball. That's what we want in our dough. So I'm gonna go ahead and transfer our dough to plastic wrap. I'm not even gonna work it on the surface. And the main reason why I'm trying to keep all that butter locking all that coldness into the dough. So I'm just gonna transfer it exactly onto our cling wrap. And of course, cling wrap don't like me. The less I touch it, the better. You see that nice color the dough have? It's from the turmeric. And specifically, that's what I use the turmeric for to color it, give it that nice golden color. So that's it, guys. I'm just gonna cut my clean wrap. If you don't like that yellow color in your dough, you don't have to add the turmeric. So I'm just wrapping it over with our clean wrap bringing everything together like that and I'm just gonna put this in our refrigerator for like two to three hours before I use it this can be in this can be stored in the refrigerator for up to three days or you can freeze this up really well you can do it like this wrap it up in the cling wrap and freeze it off in your freezer it could last for I would say about a month and a half or so. 